welcome to the Kitty Pets channel. So today I am here with a video just to highlight some things that should show you that you are not ready for locks. I used to get um, quite a lot of these questions especially when I started my journey and also some of the things or symptoms are things that I've seen people do that really make me think sis you are not ready for locks. So yeah let's get straight into the video. So the first thing I would mention is if you still need somebody to convince you to get locks, then you shouldn't be getting them in the first place. I remember when I was still trying to get people's opinion on whether I should get locks or not, that was a key sign that I was not ready to do it because I needed somebody to tell me what I should do. Normally as a human being who knows what they want in life, you would make your own choices by yourself without consulting anybody else. But why are you then expecting somebody to tell you what hairstyle you should be doing? If you don't ask somebody whether you should take your braids out or not, or whether you should get um, a blonde weave, then there is no reason for you to be asking other people's opinion on social media or any other people that, you know, just everybody basically. If you are still doing that, then you are not ready for locks. Second of all, if you are the type of person that cannot be consistent with anything in life, generally speaking, you should not start locks. Locks are something that um, take a lot of patience, so that is also something that I would put in there, that if you are an impatient person, locks do teach you a lot of patience, because the journey is quite slow. When you start the journey, you're looking at other people who've had their locks for like 11, 12 years, which is not realistic to yourself because you're only just in the beginning stages of whatever you're doing. So it goes on to say, like anything in life, do not compare your backstage with somebody else's stage. So basically, when you are in your zone of preparing for your great moment, you should not compare yourself to other people so if you are somebody that cannot stick to something you like changing your hairstyle all the time or you generally struggle to be patient or you like to be somebody that compares with everything that everybody else is doing then you should not be getting locks altogether locks require quite a lot of patience and they also need you to be consistent and to be content if you are not someone that can be content then locks may not be something for you the third thing is if you do feel that um, you can just have locks and never look at your hair again, then you are wrong. You should not be getting locks. Just like your loose natural hair, to an extent, locks do need quite a little bit of care because ultimately it's still your hair. Whether your hair is in braids, it's still your hair. Whether it's, it's in weave, it's still your hair. So when it's in locks, it is ultimately still your hair. So you need to realize that just because you are starting locks, it does not take away any hair problems. So let's say for example, if you are somebody that, um, like myself, suffer from PCOS and you are experiencing shedding. Yes, to a degree, the shedding does reduce. However, you still do experience shedding in your locks. So if you don't learn how to take care of your hair when it's natural and it's in its loose state, your locks will end up thin, raggedy and also needing a lot more care and kind of looking fragile. So the best thing I would say is if you are embarking on locks as a method of solving a problem, I really think that you should address the problem first and then embark on your journey with the knowledge that you need to know how to care for your hair in order to avoid certain mistakes. I have known ladies that, um, let's say for example, thought that they could get away with things like postpartum shedding after they have their baby um, just because they are in locks and that is so totally wrong because the root of the hair is ultimately still the same. The last thing that I would mention that you are not ready for locks is if you are the type of person that um, kind of, how do, how do I put this in, in layman's term? Um, if you are the kind of person that um, does not really plan for the future, 
because ultimately lot, when you embark on a lock journey the usual question that i have got since i started my locks is can you take them out how can you start something with a vision to undo it i feel like with anything in life um usually people that own businesses like myself will tell you that if you are starting um a business do not really have plan b as yes plan b is good but then it also suggests that you're not going to go all in with what you're doing because you know that there's always an escape route and sometimes i don't understand people that will say like you know um i'm gonna do both and see how both goes if you're gonna go all in with your lots just know that this is something that you're gonna have to make work no matter the season because there are phases where it's not so pretty for me there are stages like now where i have now been um about a month into my retwist and it's not looking as cute as it did when i initially um retwisted but that's something that i have had to embrace that like anything in life it has got its seasons there are seasons that you enjoy there are seasons that you just really question yourself what you're really doing so if you are a person that cannot be com committed to the future then you really should not be doing lots so i hope this video is helpful to somebody who is considering locks but isn't really sure whether or not they're really ready to take the plunge or not i feel you should really think about this and like i always say in every video take your time to really pray about whether this is something that you should be doing in the first place because ultimately i being a believer in christ i believe everything is about having purpose and when you know your purpose and know what you're supposed to be doing then it should help you to make certain decisions about what you should be doing with yourself so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video for now take care and god bless bye